The Yankees and Red Sox playing a rubber match at Fenway Park. Carlos Beltran turning 37 on Thursday. He'll get a birthday present from Xander Bogarts in the first inning. Bogarts commits an E6 on this hot shot with two outs and the bases empty, and that extends the inning for the Yankees. And they would cash in. The next batter is Alfonso Soriano. He'll take Felix Dubron into right center field for an RBI double. Beltran scores to make it 1-0 New York on an unearned run. Top two, the Yankees want some more. They have two men on for Jan Herbert Solarte. The pitch. Swung on, hit hard. Base hit over third. Down the left field line. Rolling to the left field corner. It'll be an extra base hit. Both runs score. On to second goes Solarte. He rounds it and holds on. It is a two-run double for Jan Hervis Salate. John Sterling with the call on WFAN. It's 3-0 New York. Later in the frame, the Yankees have two on for Beltron. Dubrat uncorks a wild pitch, and Salarte scores to make it 4-0, but hold on a second. This was initially called a hit-by-pitch, but Joe Girardi comes out to challenge and the replay review results in an overturned call. It was, in fact, a wild pitch, and New York keeps the Solarte run. Top three now. The Yankees flex some muscle as Mark Teixeira leads off. Swung on and driven to deep left field. Heading toward the wall. That ball is going to be gone. It went over. It's gone. It's a home run. Mark Teixeira hit one that just got over the green monster in left field. So Teixeira sends a text message to the left field seats. Oh, you're on the mark, Teixeira. WFAN provides the call on Teixeira's first homer of the year. It's 5-0 Yankees. Still in the third now, it's 6-0. Jacoby Ellsbury will lace a single into left center field. Brian Roberts scores to make it 7-zip, and Ellsbury takes second base on one of five Red Sox errors in the game. It's Boston's first five-error game since 2001. Dubron is done after that. He lasts just two and two-thirds. He allows seven runs, but just three were earned. CC Sabathia, meanwhile, staked to that big lead. In the fourth inning, it's 7-2 Yankees, and Sabathia strikes out Dustin Pedroia to end the frame. In the fifth, David Ortiz goes down swinging. In the sixth inning, Johnny Gomes will strike out looking. Sabathia goes six. He allows two earned runs and strikes out eight. Top seven now. New York has a 10-2 lead, and Derek Jeter gets in on the fun. He'll lace a two-run single at the left center off of Craig Breslow, and the Yankees extend to a 12-2 lead. Jump to the ninth inning now. It's 13-5 New York. Mike Cart making his first ever pitching appearance in the major leagues. And with the bases loaded, he'll walk in a run as Jacoby Ellsbury draws the fifth walk of the inning for the Yankees. Red Sox pitchers issue 12 walks and three wild pitches combined. The Yankees roll to a 14-5 win. So the Yankees take two out of three in Boston. Brian McCann played an inning at first base, his first time at that position in the big leagues. But the big news for the Yankees on Thursday, Michael Pineda hit with a 10-game suspension for possessing a foreign substance on his person during Wednesday night's game. That was the pine tar on his neck. Also right-hander Ivan Nova elects to have season-ending Tommy John surgery next week. For Boston, David Ortiz breaks the record. He's now played in 1,644 games at DH, passing Harold Baines for the most all-time. And Shane Victorino comes off the DL to make a season debut for Boston. He goes one for five with a run scored.